Movie MJ has to be a part of the Sinister Six or something because this is way too devious of activities for her not to be the main villain of the whole franchise. Bro, Mary Jane stressed Peter so badly that in the second movie, he lost his powers for a while, bro. He had a whole power block because MJ was stressing him the out so we got the worst type of love interest this had a picture of mary jane and iris west on it so you already know let's see there aren't many things that i like more than superheroes the only things i can think of if y'all know about my coming. head that i like more than superheroes are maybe sleeping sleeping with rain and thunder outside and probably sleeping i want everything that a superhero has powers fame batman's bank account and most of all the chance to help people out <laughs> and Batman's bank account. I just recently finished watching Invincible season two. Batman and I is so love rich. It. But in watching peak television, I was reminded of one thing that I don't want from superheroes. The girls. Now, Mary Jane. What do I mean by this? You all know what I'm talking about. And the countless no girls you could pull as a superhero, somehow they managed to pick the worst one. All the fucking time. Bro, y'all remember, y'all remember in Toby series, the girl who made this of cookies, bro, and held him down? What was her name? Fucking, uh, uh, Ursula? Come on now. She was fire, bro. Like she was a fire choice. Gwen Stacy, fire choice in Toby's series too, bro. After many but minutes of thought, Mary I've managed to break it down to the worst type of love interest. The me, me, me interest. This is my all time least favorite type. The Iris. type that thinks they're just as important as the hero and the ones that try to be the center of attention, even though 99% of the time, they're just getting in the way. Always. Out Jumped out the window. Mary Jane jumped out a window just to see if Spider-Man loved her. What the f***, bro? Iris West, yes, played by Candace Patton. Candace Patton is a baddie, sure, but damn, Iris West is an ass character, bro. Ass love interest. Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy for being the best love interest of all time. Facts. Gwen Stacy, Emma Stone. No, 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 That's what sucks, bro. Uh, the reason Gwen I wanted Stacey's to make this video to begin or with. Now, granted, she was much better in season two, but I Emma still Stone's cannot let the actions so of her fire. previous season slide. What no, made Amber, Amber so garbage so, I hated Amber. is that she knew Mark was invincible. Everyone, and she was mad because he didn't tell her. Right now? Tell this her. is the fourth time this week he's gotten his ass beat an inch away from death, and you're chatting about soup kitchens? I'm telling you, if I'm season one Mark, I'm calling Omni-Man right back down to Earth, and we're pulling some MK1 cameo shit right on her head. <laughs> And the fact in season one that she almost cheats on Mark at some frat party and is only stopped because the man she wanted to cheat on him with had a girlfriend made me so tight. Oh. Again, she knew Mark was invincible, so she really has no other excuse for doing this other than just being a bad person. Mm -hmm. All the times in season one when she was mad or she was crying, they were for nothing. She was acting because she knew the reason behind Mark's behavior. Mm -hmm. Amber might be the best example of me, me, me. She borderline says it. Look. You lied to me. You made me feel stupid and unimportant. It's oh yeah, Omni Man, come back down here and handle this shit. Amber was so hypocritical in season one when she was at the. That shit made no sense to me because it's like, bro, she's talking about some you lied to me and made me whatever, bro. It's like, yes, we're dating, but I'm not entirely too sure if you're gonna be my wife, the love of my life. So why the fuck do I have to tell you I'm a superhero? You think I tell every single girl I go on one date with that I'm a superhero? the soup kitchen with eve she said make the world you want to live in <laughs> isn't that what mark was just doing no 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 what she meant to say was make the world a better place unless it messes with my ego saying this to eve <laughs> then going right ahead and making mark feel like trash after he tries to do just that man omni man come back down okay, here and shit again <laughs> Amber played the victim so much in season one, she redeemed herself a little bit in my eyes in season two. Just she was trying to be real understanding and I almost felt bad for her, but not really. <laughs> I would be lying if I said He's I mean. didn't get hype as fuck when they broke it. Eve is better, next. <laughs> now, it's absolutely no fuck surprise that MJ is on this list. In fact, MJ could be argued to be the worst love interest of all time. Oh my That's God, how trash bro. she is in my eyes. Absolutely. At least in the movies, TV shows, and video games. Oh my God. Now I will say Zendaya's MJ, not even call Mary Jane. It's like Michelle Jones or something. Way better, but still. God, I hated wait, MJ wait, in the PS4 the games. <sighs> if you played Spider-Man PS4, you know exactly what I'm oh talking about. Oh my God, about. she was so Constantly aggravating. complaining at Peter that he treats her like she's made of glass. 
This is the first time in my life that I've been provoked to hit a woman. Like, bro, <laughs> you are not helping against these motherfuckers. Go home. Get out of here. I will Literally. never get over that phone call after she snuck into the armed military saber base with nothing but some fucking rocks and then yelled at Peter for saving her. You have no idea how much I wanted to get the symbiote suit and go launch some haymakers towards her way. Because it's like, I'd make bro, the argument why? that MJ does this on purpose just to be manipulative or something. No one in their right mind thinks that this is acceptable when you have no powers. This isn't even mentioning 2002 MJ, where she got so mad at Peter for not showing up to her whack ass play because he had to go save the city once again. Once. Just once do I want Peter to tell her that she is not that guy. Movie MJ has to be a part She's of the Sinister Six or something She's because annoying. this is way too devious of activities for her not to be the main villain of the whole franchise. Denied his proposal. Got Bro, Mary Jane stressed Peter so badly that in the second movie, he lost his powers for a while, bro. He had a whole power block because MJ was stressing him the fuck out, bro. Out with his best friend, complained every chance she got, and only started liking him after he got powers. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that she was low-key cheating on everybody the whole three movies. Mm -hmm. Not even just on Peter, but on but Harry, Harry and this Why? other dude too. Remember that iconic alleyway kiss? Yeah, she had Fucking a man Peter, when she was bro. doing that. <laughs> Devious acts. Honestly, <laughs> when she got kidnapped by Goblin, Peter should have said fuck it and went home. <laughs> <laughs> then, after all this ends and she's not with Harry anymore, she decides that she loves Peter. And when does she tell him? At her ex-boyfriend's dad's funeral. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> bro, Mary Jane is the worst fucking love interest of all time, bro. She is so bad, bro. It's so bad. Not in a good way, bro. She's actually like a bad person, bro. Looking back on this, I understand why Harry went on demon timing. <laughs> Shit. I would too. And not only does she cheat on Harry a bunch, but in Spider-Man 2, she gets engaged just to spite Peter, then tries her absolute best to cheat on her new fiance. All with right. Peter. Peter, come handle this. By the end of Spider-Man 2, she finds out Peter's identity. Mind you, she finds out when Peter saves her from falling rubble. Like, bitch. This one's for all my baby girls. Move! Move! I, <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> Bro, you can see he's visibly struggling holding up this big ass beam. And she's sitting there like, wow. Peter, you say me like, bitch, please get the fuck out the way. Like, bro, oh my gosh. I know what you're thinking. This has to be the end of it, right? Not even close. I know you remembered her fiance, right? Fuck that name. Unlike a normal person, well, instead of breaking name, off the engagement, She tried right? to do the, yes! She got mad at this nigga for doing the, the, the kiss with Gwen Stacy. She was so fucking upset. In a way, when she found out she was in love with Peter and Peter loved her, she waits until the very last minute just to leave him at the altar. Devious oh, acts. Again, are we entirely sure that this hoe isn't a part of the Sinister Six? <laughs> but at the end of Spider-Man 2, they do eventually get together. Then, then Spider-Man 3 rolls around yeah. and she gets canned from her job because she's a garbage actress. Uh -huh. Then blames Peter, Peter. for being Spider-Man. Like what? What the hell are you talking about? But Peter was on crazy time in this movie, <laughs> like, like on more than one occasion. So maybe I give her a slide. But back to the point, we're supposed to feel bad for MJ, but it's just too impossible because after Peter slips up and acts out one time, cheats. she just cheats on him yeah. again. <laughs> I swear, cheats. I swear. It's I've never true. seen a more unfaithful love interest than Sam Raimi's MJ. So She's what so does Peter do in retaliation? <laughs> okay, okay. But for real, he tries to make her jealous by using Gwen Stacy, but ended up going for a more direct approach. And MJ being like this goes through every dimension too. I really have no sympathy for her. Man, need to do it one more time for the people. <laughs> the flash, Barry. Fucking Iris West. Oh my lord. This is the worst. The absolute worst. Iris West from the CW Flash show could, could be the worst love interest of all time. And I don't even know why it went so wrong. If you remember, in the beginning season of the CW Flash show, Iris wasn't that bad. She mm -mm. was actually pretty cool. But then she, she joined the team and it all went to her head. We are the Flash, have an ass. We are the Flash! This needs to be studied how Iris became one of the most annoying characters in fiction after season four. My God, Flash, come handle this. <laughs> Ralph Dibney put it best, so I'm gonna let Ralph say it for me. You don't have any concept of how dangerous it is for me out there. Yes, I do. No. How could you? You don't. Because I am the leader of this team. Yeah, that's right, you are. But you're always back there hiding, safe and sound. 
I'm not Sex. sure when she- bro, so <laughs> Yo, I, yo, I'm not gonna lie, that scene was so beautiful. She became the leader of Team Flash, but she is that ass the only one that doesn't have powers on the team. She Fact. needs to get that MJ treatment and go home. Or when Barry took Nora back to the future after it was revealed she was working with the reverse was Flash, me, she out here talking about we again. Is this bitch French? After season one, I could not stand Iris. After Iris said this to Barry during that argument, I knew she was too far gone to be redeemed. And she explained why. That she was working with Don? That is me, Barry. Something's in my ass. That doesn't bother you. I jerked you off at super speed, no, it so it seemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry, come here. Thawne, yes, Thawne literally murdered his mom in front of him as a child. And she said, no, it doesn't bother me that he's working, that our daughter is working with the man that you hate the most. Put this shit again. Being a superhero would be badass. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely wouldn't be dealing with some of these girls. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments who you think is the worst love interest of all time and what else I should talk about. I'll see you guys in the next video. I honestly truly believe that Mary Jade is the worst fucking love interest of all time, bro. They can't ever have a good girlfriend, bro, in these damn fucking superhero shits, dog. Or and if they are, they're either they either die or they're fucking villain, bro. Cause cause Spider-Man dates Felicia Hardy, who's actually a good girlfriend to him, and then finds out that she's the black the black cat. Great. <laughs> Batman dates Selena Kyle, finds out she's Batwoman or uh, Catwoman. Great.